In this video, we will use the Select by Location tool to identify what undeveloped parcels overlap with our zoning layer. Since our new homeowner wants to live within the city limits of Austin, we only need to know the location of undeveloped land within the city. The zoning layer you added denotes the area of the Austin city limits. We now need to find those undeveloped areas that overlap with this zoning layer. Instead of using the Select by Attributes option, we will now use the Select by Location option. And basically, instead of selecting places based on something within the attribute table, we are selecting places based on their relative location to other layers. In this case, we are selecting those places that overlap with the zoning layer. First, be sure to save your project before moving forward. Go to the Map tab and select the Select by Location button. In the Select by Location pane, we want to make sure that the selected features are coming from our undeveloped layer. In the Input Features dialog box, select the Undeveloped Land layer. Below we have a Relationships option. This has a variety of selections. In this case, we want to find undeveloped land that is completely within our zoning layer. Choose the selecting feature as our zoning layer, then click Run. A new selection should appear for our undeveloped parcel. Notice that not all parcels have been selected in our undeveloped land layer. Only the ones that are completely within our zoning layer have been applied, which is exactly what we want. Take a look at the attribute table to ensure that the number of selected features is 5,204. Now let's go ahead and export this selected features as a new shapefile, like we did before. Go ahead and make sure that you're saving this into your geodatabase. And go ahead and title the layer City Undeveloped with no spaces. Go ahead and click Run and a new layer should appear with only our selected features. Go ahead and clear your selection for the undeveloped land layer and you'll notice a significantly lower number of parcels in our new layer. Go ahead and take a minute to experiment with some of the other relationships in the Select by Location tool. Depending on which rela relationship method you choose, this will change the number of features that are selected. Think about how the number of selected features changes using the intersection method versus the completely within method. Since the intersect option is now selecting any parcel that intersects with our zoning layer, it is now capturing parcels that might not be completely within the Austin city limits. Try out some of the other options and notice the number of features that have been selected using that relationship.
as long as you have the selection type as new selection. The selection will overwrite the previous selection, so you don't have to click clear every time. In the next section, we will use the spatial join function to merge two separate layers based on their attributes and spatial relationship.